Five minutes. How to master the autopilot in the 7th or 7 Max. Here we go, Captain. Today, our main focus will be this big panel that groups all of the autopilot functionalities. Let's start with auto throttle. By pushing this lever, you would tell the plane to take control of the thrust lever. Then, you can click the speed button. It will adjust the aircraft's power in order to follow the selected airspeed, in our case, 250 knots. Please note on the FMA the MCP speed indication, meaning the auto throttle will follow the speed indicated on the MCP here. From that configuration, you can increase or decrease the airspeed value using this knob, and the plane will automatically modify its thrust to match the selected speed. Auto throttle is set. Now let's activate the general autopilot system. Activate the autopilot by clicking one of the top buttons on the right side of the MCP. When activated, a green CMD would appear on the primary flight display, meaning the autopilot is active. Autopilot is active, but no instruction is given to our plane. Let's first set a heading. The heading selection is just right of the speed selection. You may want to turn this knob and monitor changes on the navigation display. The selected heading is displayed in magenta, and the numerical value is visible on the MCP. Once you selected the correct heading, you would click on the heading selection button and the plane would start turning. Notice on the FMA that heading selection is active. The plane will keep turning until it reaches a heading of 330 and will maintain it until further instructions. Our plane has controlled airspeed and controlled heading, so let's select an altitude. The altitude selection is right of the heading. Select the altitude you want to reach using this knob. By default, the plane won't move because it needs to know at which rate it should climb. As a result, you would want to give it a vertical speed by clicking the VS button, then apply a rate of climb using this knob. Units are feet per minute, and this info is replicated on the primary flight display. Please note the VS info showing on the FMA, confirming the plane is climbing thanks to the vertical speed assigned. With this configuration, the plane will climb at 1500 feet per minute, then hold at 7000 feet. Selecting feet per minute to define the climb rate might not be very handy for beginner pilots. As a result, an easier way to climb or descent is using the level change function. For this feature, you would still need to define a selected altitude, but you won't need to select a vertical speed. Instead, the plane will apply its climb power, then pitch the aircraft in order to maintain the selected airspeed. Same as VS function, the plane would level and hold at the selected altitude. Note the FMA is showing N1 power, which is the climb power, and MCP speed for the targeted airspeed to follow during climb. This sums up selected part. Now let's get into managed functionalities. Managed means you have a valid flight plan registered on your FMS. If you want to know more about how to configure the onboard computer and input a flight plan, feel free to check our tutorial series about it. Managed functionalities are divided in two parts. The first part is LNAV, for lateral navigation that will control the plane's heading. The second part is VNAV for vertical navigation that will control the plane's altitude. Let's start with LNAV. Our plane is flying in heading mode and we would like to join the flight plan. From the navigation display we can see waypoint HANA is close so we want to join it. Go to the FMS and select HANA then input it at the top of the list. It will create a direct path to the waypoint. Then, just click the LNAV button and the plane will follow the magenta line. Easy, right? Now let's dive into the vertical navigation. Approaching your destination airport, you would see TD marker on the navigation display. This is your top of descent. A couple of miles from the marker, select the desired altitude, in our case 6,000 feet. Then click the VNAV button to arm the system. From that configuration, it's all automatic. Approaching the top of descent, you would see the VNAV path appearing on the screen and the plane will follow it while respecting constraints all along the way. You can now take a coffee and relax on your gaming chair. The plane will continue until the approach phase kicks in. Speaking of the approach phase, in the next video we will see how to make this big bird lands without doing nothing. And if you want to know more about the autopilot functionalities, feel free to check our deep dive tutorial about it. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more content. Safe flight, Captain.